Let's go. And we will sing. Oh. Hello, this is your live boy today, and today is Tuesday, the 4th of October 2022. Your live boy today is calling for early dedication. Or put exactly as stated as topic for today in the Daily Fountain, the Daily Devotional Guide of the Church of Nigeria Anglican Communion. The topic is a call for dedication. We'll be taking a reading, very brief one from the epistle of Paul to the Romans in chapter 12. And if you're set, let's go. I appeal to you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your perfect service. Do not be comforted to this world, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that you may prove what is the will of God, what is good and acceptable and perfect. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A call for dedication. When Paul was writing this, he had not even visited the Romans. He had, he had not been to Rome. But he knew that these people had to renew they are thinking because they were getting conformed to the life of revelry and um, intellectualism without basis in God and all kinds of things that a big city like Rome provided for the people at that time. And isn't that the situation that we find ourselves in today too? Don't we have a lot of political intellectualism, a lot of, um, you know, discussions of the beat of God, things that do not edify the body of Christ, things that do not edify humanity at all, and those are the things that people keep on discussing these days. When you have a gospel video clip, depending on the minister, you'll get like 10, 20, 30, 40, 100 viewers. But when there's a skit about something silly, somebody just dancing virtually naked, then within 24 hours, there are 145K, 145,000 viewers. And then you begin to wonder, what is it that will make people to dedicate their time, their lives, their attention to such frivolities when more fundamental things about God are there for you? that you should get attuned to. This is a call for dedication. You have to be more dedicated to Christ. If you are a Christian, you have to be more dedicated to your scriptures. You have to, more, to be more dedicated to your church, to the work of God, to the fellowship of brethren. You should not forsake the assembly of brethren. That's very clearly spelled out in the scriptures. And so you should fellowship with your brethren. You should be very, very deep in prayer, fellowship with God. You should dedicate your life to reading the scriptures, you should dedicate your life to being of service to others. You should dedicate your, your life to loving God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, and with all of your mind. So that will get you to renew your first love in Christ and you begin to please God more than ever before. That is what is most important for you right now. And that is why this call for dedication is so important for you. If you had been a Christian and you know somehow the fire of Christianity, the flame that was aglow in you has gone down, virtually, completely burnt out. But if you have never been in Christ, this is also a call for you, for dedication for you to, to give your life to Christ so that you can begin to understand what it is to live in Christ and to have 
a renewal of your mind away from all those worldly things into more important things, more profound things about your life and about your future because you won't be here forever. That's the truth of the matter. There is another place where you are going to spend eternity, where you are going to spend more time than whatever number of years you could spend here. My own father spent a hundred and two perhaps years, hundred years officially on the surface of the earth. But then he's gone now for maybe about 11 years and no, about 10 years now and he has just started eternity there. I'm going there someday too. You are going there someday too. Where will you go? Will you join the same triumphant or will you burn in hell? It depends on if you yield to this call for dedication. And if you are set for that call for dedication right now, then I want everybody to say this prayer. Say, Lord, give me the grace of rededicating my time, my life, my thinking, everything to love you more than ever before, Lord Jesus, and to love my neighbors as myself. I pray in Jesus' name. And if you are yet to give your life to Christ, then you still need to say this special prayer. Say, Lord, I come to you right now. I also want to join the fold of those that are dedicated to you. Forgive me of all the sins of the past and from today. Give me the grace to have a new beginning in you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So if you just said the prayer of giving your life to Christ, then you need to find the Bible believing church where you can go in the faith so that you can be more dedicated. And I always recommend that if you happen to be in Oshubo, Oshu State, Nigeria, just come straight to the Anglican Church of Oki Estate Extension. You'll find us in the Chapel Hall of the Olive Branches Middle and High School along with Yuka and Gokyo. We're going to drive there. If you join us on Wednesday, 5 o'clock, you'll meet us there for the midweek service. And if you join us 10 o'clock on Sunday, you'll meet us there for our regular meetings or the Holy Communion service, which we alternate. We have the Holy Communion service this week, and then we have the regular praise and worship session and fellowship in the presence of the Lord the next week. And as you go out today now, say, God, I rededicate my life to you today. And I pray that you give me the grace to remain, de to remain dedicated to you the rest of my life from today through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So go out today, live a life of dedication to Christ, and it will be well with you. God bless you. I judge you faithful. I call you faithful. I call you good. You are the You are good. Say oh.